And now to our original series, Project Home. A Bay Area photographer has given away thousands of free headshots to homeless clients. She tells our Susie Steimel about the project that's not only changed her life, but also helped her subjects see themselves in a different light. This is the section for our homeless vets. When Virginia Becker first started taking professional headshots of homeless clients, she never imagined that it would be her own inhibitions that would end up on full display. What was that first shoot like for you? Were you nervous? I was nervous because I was still at an us and them. I'm so embarrassed to say that. Like many people still do, when Virginia saw a homeless person on the sidewalk, she used to cross the street to avoid them. I was the girl when I saw a blue tarp on the side of the road that would roll her terrible eyes, gnarl her terrible teeth and go, why do they do that? Why don't they just go to a shelter? Why, why, why? So smile. She now sees the homeless through an entirely different lens. Three and a half years ago, Virginia started working with the Downtown Streets team, a nonprofit that connects homeless people to much needed resources in San Jose. While volunteering, she started taking pictures. She's now given away nearly 5,000 free headshots to homeless clients. She calls it the Blue Tarp Project. Certainly they would be more glamorous pictures if they were black and white and gritty and told a story, but I don't think that that does any good. And I think it kind of perpetuates the myth of what a homeless person is. So this is more real? This is real. These are real people. She wants her audience to see the homeless as they really are. People like Sophia Ortiz. I see pride. When I see that picture, I see pride. It's hard to imagine now. So I like what I see when I'm looking at me when I'm walking across the mirror. <laughs> but Sophia wasn't always so comfortable in front of the camera. I didn't want to look in the mirror to put on makeup. Sophia first lost her housing when her mom passed away. That loss drove her back into an abusive relationship in order to stay housed. All of that abuse changed the way she saw herself. I really didn't feel like I mattered anymore. So she started sleeping on the street and hiding at BART stations. Afraid to inconvenience her family, she didn't ask for help. I would lie to my family. I would tell them that I was staying at my friends or something because I didn't want to, I didn't want to intrude. That's when she found the downtown streets team. I couldn't go anywhere else but up. <laughs> And you did it. Yeah. And you're still doing it. It's not over. In a matter of months, she found a job and an apartment. To this day, she's one of the fastest graduates the program has ever seen. The worst time of my life ended up being the best time of my life because I got my self worth just by myself uh, through me. Sophia remembers what it felt like to be invisible, to be judged by strangers in a snap, which is why it means so much to her that someone who in the past might have chosen to avoid her gaze is instead the person who helped her one two three feel truly perfect seen that's what happens with pictures they they show who you truly are like i couldn't see that i even had self-worth until i started getting these pictures i wonder how many people could be really honest with themselves and say i see everybody exactly the same and i couldn't have said that before but i can now thank you thank you <laughs> The Blue Tarp Project is on display at the MLK Library in San Jose through the end of this month. After that, Virginia is hoping to find a new home for this exhibit. She's hoping for an even larger space next time so that she can include more information about what the region is doing to help the homeless. Well, the more we know, you know, the, the probably quicker we'll find a solution to this, at least get on the path to it. And yeah. treating people as people is probably... The first step. And that's why it's so complex because it's yeah. as varied as humanity. You know, yeah. everybody has a different version of this story. Right. So and they're all human beings, and one picture can just change somebody's life. It's yeah. amazing. Thanks, Susie. Well, keep sending your stories and ideas to Project Home at CBS.com. You can also see all of Susie's reporting on our website.